bam, we're, we're on. G'day, g'day, here Rich from uh, PT Graduate, and see that's different on this setup. We're using different software today, and the arrow points the other way today. Matt Norris on my left, and uh, today we're talking about special occasions, we're talking about events, we're talking about the sorts of things that you can plug into your marketing plan to um, leverage these things for your improve for the improvement of your business for um, client engagement for revenue building or for revenue boosting um, so we're going to rattle off a few things few ideas that we've had or used in the past and some things that have worked some things that haven't worked um, so that you can see the sorts of things that have been done and we're certainly not saying this is an exhaustive list because we probably don't have time um, but again, it's a sample, it's our experience, and it's some of the things that we like to do, share, and um, you know, to help give love to everybody out there watching. Um, so um, without further ado, I'll pass over to Matt, and um, he can give you some of his ideas, and we'll just, you know, we'll throw it backwards and forwards like we normally do, and um, see what comes out. Yeah, so the um, big thing really is <clears throat> happy Valentine's Day. So, um, you know, hope you're all out there uh, and I'm sure everyone's loved by someone. Um, and if you haven't already, share the love, um, whether it's with your clients or, you know, just giving them a nice compliment and message on, you know, how well they've been doing. Um, I know it's, you know, Valentine's Day. It's not just about, you know, your partner. It's about just, you know, being nice to everyone, being um, showing you care. And it's a good good time to do it. Um, with events you know valentine's day and um, you've got i mean we just had white tangy and um, we've got easter coming up and um, all these different dates are different days and dates that you can um you can basically plan for for one um i always see this through like a marketing suspect and um, perspective mm. and think you know what okay these are events that you know for instance every time I mean, for every, generally, it's just a weekend. If it's just a weekend, Rebel Sport will have a sale on. Mm. But if it's not, a, you know, it, if it's a particular weekend, um, like we said, Easter's coming up, they'll have a massive Easter sale, have a massive, you know, so there's no reason why we can't do this sort of thing in our business. And it might not be that we're, you know, we're going to be putting events on or not events, or we're using these these events to, um, to sell different things. We're not going to discount our, our prices. Um, but it does mean we can, you know, add value to it and make an offer, make a different offer that's not normally available. For instance, with Valentine's Day today, a little bit late, but you could um, get this to get people for the re you know the rest of the month. You could say bring your partner um, to a session free once a week mm. if you do more than one session a week, um, or just get them to come down one for one session um, and no charge. Just you know try and get your partner involved because um, a lot of the time we have you know clients who might train and sometimes their partners might not see the benefit or might wonder why they're paying you know 65 dollars to go see a trainer when you already paid a gym membership and they might not be on the same same wavelength and um, so it's a great time to try and get them in and show them the value but also potentially maybe get another client and um, so you know that's a, another a thing that you can do you could hold an, an event for your members it's Valentine's Day called the Valentine's Day special. Like I know um, sometimes we do different things at the gym. I've done Easter. I've done Easter egg hunts around the gym um, for my clients. You know, every client I've had something before and do like a little, little Easter egg hunt. Um, you know, it's just something fun. So now you can a little bit out of the ordinary, make the day, make that week special. You know, a lot of people go away on Easter, but the ones that will stay, you know, you'll probably still be working because, you know, that mem your members are there. Um, Make it fun, you know, mm. have a Easter mm. themed, um, you know, group session. Or if you don't do group sessions, have a group session. Get all your clients together and have a group session and get some bonding on the go. Um, or again, you know, you can use it as market for marketing. And you can, um, I think one year I hid an Easter egg on my website. And I said anyone that found it um, got like two weeks worth of free training Ooh, three I times like a week. I like that. Um, yeah, dead simple. Clever. Got more traffic yeah. to your website, you know. Yeah. Got more traffic to the. It was in one of the blogs, so it meant mm. that people uh, had to go through the blogs to try and find it. Nice. And it just, you know, gets more people involved. Um, and then again, you might potentially get a client out of it. Um, but also just adds a little bit of fun. And you know, these are things that 
don't just crop up the, the from the start of the year to the end of the year you know these dates are set in stone they don't change really um or if you do you know you know you know at the start of the year when they're going to happen so mm. rather than kind of scrambling you know thinking oh i've got one day till easter or oh, i should really do something you can plan and prepare for these sort of events and um, and it'll make things a lot easier for you and uh, you'll be more organized and your members will have a better experience your clients will have a better experience because um you know you're putting sort of an extra on for them yeah. it could it could easily be something that's just going to the coffee shop and having a coffee all together um it's just yeah these are all all little things that you can do to really kind of help you know your business and mm. um, little things like that make people stay with you longer as well uh, it sounds right. funny it's engagement yeah yeah they, but you do you'll stay longer just because you know you're doing something nice for them doing something good for them yeah. um they'll stay just because they want that camaraderie some of some you know they're not not saying that clients are lonely but you know sometimes people want to get away from you know the normal conversations that they have with people and their friends and their friends mm. struggles because you know if you've got friends that you take on board their troubles and um, what they're going through and you take on your home life you know you might have you know things going on at home and the gyms are separate you know somewhere somewhere different um and getting everyone from the gym to go and have a coffee together mm. and just talk about the training and having a laugh and stuff like that it's just different conversations and it keep, makes people want to come back for more uh, make makes people come to the, to see you um not just for the training but for yeah. everything else that you provide and yeah. the camaraderie of the other clients and members and you know yeah just creates you know building that tribe that we're talking about and that's mm. what it does so mm -hmm. absolutely it's, it's um i think the big thing that comes through from what you're saying is it builds that connection we're all wired mm. for connection in fact we're healthier human beings when we are connected to a tribe um and this is a really useful tool to help maintain that connection and build that connection um so <clears throat> going back a step in terms of um using events for your for your mark you know for your marketing and for your for your business one of the first steps to do and i'm going to spin the computer around here is to my uh my wall here is my wall planner for the year so my recommendation is to grab that wall planner from the stationery shop chuck it up on a wall i'm actually hiding a picture because that's the only space i could find to put it up with my blue tack and um, use that stand back and go right what's going on for the next 12 months where can i plan these events into my um, working week and month so that you've got these things coming up reasonably frequently and you know they can be big events they can be small events um, but they're all building on that sort of that culture in your business that is all about people and all about keeping them together as a unit and having that camaraderie that Matt talked about. Um, and, um, and you've got the plan in place so you can, you can get the message out to them ahead of time. You don't have to do it the day before because like, you're less likely to get that commitment. And it just looks like you're organized and um, you're thorough in terms of the way that you run your business. So I highly recommend you do that. Get the planner up, stand back and go, right, when are the holidays? When are the, the events like Valentine's, for example, which is why we've chosen to do this on this day. It's a nice little uh, reminder. Um, and just plan that all the way through and, um, you know, get creative. I've, the example that popped into my mind when you were talking a minute ago, Matt, was something I did a few years ago when I was doing some outdoor training with people over Halloween. Um, I went down to my local um, fruit world and loaded up the boot with the biggest pumpkins I could find. And um, I think I ended up with three banana boxes full of pumpkins. I drove them to this, this group session the next day. And instead of using power bags, everybody used a pumpkin for their resistance. And it's a bit of an awkward shape. So, you know, it's a bit different rather than a sandbag. And, you know, they were, they were throwing them in the air and they were catching them and they were doing press ups on them and they were squatting with them and all, all sorts of cool stuff which it was a little bit random, but at the same time, it was Halloween, it was something to do, and it was, it was a way of kind of just creating a bit of interest. And, um, you know, people driving past would, would have been looking at these guys like, what the hell are they doing with those pumpkins? So, um, you know, that sort of thing, you know, just pick the, uh, pick the item and say, right, how am I going to get creative around this? What can I do that's different that's going to get people engaged and interested? Um, you know, it can be a one-off thing like that, or it can be, you know, an eight week, 12 week program, if that's the sort of thing that works in your business. Um, so yeah, it's got to, it's got to fit with what you already do. It's got to be leveraging events that are already out there. And then it's got to be your flavor and your spin on how you, you put those two things together. 
Um, there are some ongoing things that you can do, which I did when I was working up in a studio in Fongaparo, was to um, to have a leaderboard, a little bit like the the lap times leaderboard on top here, if that's that's a familiar theme to or, or concept <laughs> to people. The fastest person around the lap would be at the top of the board and the slowest would be at the bottom. And that isn't necessarily how you can run it in a gym. It depends on the people and whether that fits with your culture because the people at the bottom may not appreciate being shown up to be at the bottom. Um, but you, what we did was we ran a weekly challenge at the beginning of each session. So they would do the challenge and then their time for that challenge would be pinned up. And then the next week we'd start a fresh one. So you had 52 or however many weeks we were open challenges a week. And again, that's just something different. They know they're coming into a new week and there's going to be something different asked of them before they do whatever session is planned for them. Um, and it's a great way of keeping people on their toes, keeping their interest. And then obviously every single week it happens. So, you know, they're not going to want to miss out if their buddies are doing it and their buddies are beating them. Um, so, you know, those who are a little bit competitive, it really works well for. Um, so, you know, not everybody has to participate. It's, uh, it's you know, opt in or, you know, you don't have to opt out sort of thing. It's not a compulsory thing. So those are all different things that um, can be used to uh, to leverage people's interest and, and get them involved in those group things because um, then they start chatting about that amongst themselves and you know that's coffee coffee time conversation and you know there's that community that you talked about Matt in terms of the camaraderie all generated by your ideas in the in the gym and or where the studio wherever you are um, which again gets them off the boring topics that they might have to be you know they're not talking about the weather and they're not talking about the kids they're not talking about work they're talking about their stuff and you know something a bit fun so um hopefully that sows a few seeds yeah yeah i think uh you'd be surprised as well you know you might have a group i've had i've trained a lot obviously my main business really is group training um even when i was doing one-on-one -on -one, it was still hot, at least half my business was coming from groups and um you know you do set up like weekly challenges or a month challenge monthly challenge and the ones who really don't want to do it are the ones that get more competitive so you'll think you know there'll be people there and they'll be like no i don't you know it's not, not i don't really into being competitive or you know that sort of stuff um but once they get involved it's usually them that do better than most and they're like oh no i've got to do it again i want to beat my time or i want to you know and it's it's, it's quite surprising because when i set up my first challenge like that and uh, when we did some challenges in the group in my groups you know, a lot of them I didn't think would buy into it that much because there was there's a few really competitive people and a lot of them that aren't. Um, yeah. But they all got involved and they all wanted to get involved. And they, again, it was, you know, we did it uh, as a group, sort of, you know, we'd do something and one person might be doing something and everyone else was cheering them on. Or, you know, it's, um, we might have done, I think, what did we do? A classic was like a wall sit, you know. Oh, actually, a really good one was a hang. To just hang oh, in yeah. from um, a, a pull-up bar, yeah, yeah, and it's, it's something that simple, mm. but the, the like it was amazing the people who could hold on for over a minute, um, because there was a few and like you know some were, weren't holding on for that long, and um, but then everyone else, everyone had a go and everyone was you know the people who were doing really well, everyone was cheering them on. It was like oh my god, I can't believe you just did that. Oh, I really want to be able to do that now. You know, and it, it motivated motivated them. So it wasn't like, a, okay, who's the best? Who can do this? It was just, mm. let's see how much you can do. Um, and we'll, yeah. we'll see who, who can hold on the longest. Nice. And, you know, people then were aspiring to be not people they see on Instagram or other people like that. It's people they train with and they're like, oh, man, I want to be as strong as you, you know. And yeah. they usually probably people that have been with you for a bit longer. So, you know, like, oh, you know, how long have you been training now? on mm. two years oh great well that's my goal and within two years i want to be able to hold on that long Brilliant. okay great you just had that buy-in now and yeah. that client potentially yeah. wants to stay with you for a lot longer and mm. um, because you can see the results again through mm. these little tests and um, and people i think you know i know we talked about sort of different types of events but doing these sort of challenges and um, it just really helps yeah, yeah that camaraderie people coming in and doing it um, and it shows them how strong they have become because a lot of time people don't realize how strong they are because no. you don't use it unless you're in a gym situation mm, mm. so when you do these little challenges that you know kind of puts them onto and they can see how strong they are compared to what you know other people might do and um, you really see how far they've come which is is really nice for them as well yeah, yeah. 
that's brilliant yeah perfect example you're so right and that's the that's the those are the sort of sometimes those are the conversations you don't always hear um and sometimes you'll sometimes you'll catch them won't you and you're like oh yes you know a bit of a yeah an internal fist pump it's like i don't even have to do the work these guys are doing it for me you know it's you've created an environment that allows that to happen and it, and off it goes it's got a life of its own well, it's Brilliant. a safe environment it's a, a mm. nice environment for them because it's not like i mean i'm not saying anything like i know people who've gone and done crossfit and stuff and like for me probably i'd probably really like that environment because i'm quite competitive i don't mm. like being beaten um, you know, I think of everything as competition and, you know, going to a CrossFit gym and training like that would probably, for me, would probably motivate me. For a lot of the people I train, though, that puts them off so much. Mm. But you still need to bring some of that kind of competition mm. and, you know, that challenging yourself element into your training. And doing things like this, you know, is somewhere safe where if they don't do that well, it doesn't matter because everyone around them is cheering them on and trying to, you know, trying to encourage them or you're there to encourage them and saying, okay, well, you know what? We can't do, you can only hold on to the bar for 10 seconds now. Well, we're going to stop putting that into your program mm -hmm. and let's aim for 30 seconds by the end of the month, you know? And then you've got another little goal that you can work towards with them. That's not just, you know, weight related or, um, you know, depending on what you're working on. So it's other things that you can start programming into the, into the sessions as well. Um, so it gives you, it gives you and them, something and uh, some more stuff to work towards and yeah work yeah with. yeah it's great it's really good um there we so just looking time. here now um at the still yeah we've still got a bit of time we've got um so nz public holidays so mm -hmm. you know if you're going to set up you know for instance for marketing now if you're going to set up anything or planning events um good thing for you to do is go on to the uh, google uh, Google public holidays, it comes up, you know, you've got New Year's Day, um, day after New Year's Day, you know, we're going to do too much then, but you've got White Tangy, which has been, um, Easter, so you've got Good Friday, so Monday, that, you know, there's four days there, uh, in April, you got Anzac Day, um, you know, the 27th of April, so you could do like a military-themed um, workout yeah. or military-themed challenge, or, you know, you could even, if you, you know, if you want, you can always get, get your members together. And, you know, I'm sure That's some true. of them will have people who've been in the forces and stuff and see mm -hmm. if anyone wants to go along to one of their Anzac, um, you know, sort of ceremonies uh, and, you know, do, do the walk through the town. So, you know, these are little, like little things like that, just getting, getting people together. Mm -hmm. uh, Queen's birthday in June, um, you know, you could do something for that. And you've got Labor Day and obviously Christmas Day, mm -hmm. Boxing Day. Mm -hmm. um, so all these are things that are already set up for you that you can just jump on the back of them and yeah. make something up. Um, yeah. On top of that, now up here, we're, we've got Round the Bays. Um, mm. So Round the Bays is happening in March. So that's one thing. Okay, can you get some people to do that? We're going to be doing the Spartan Race, which is cool. in um, June, June, I think it is, or July this mm -hmm. year. So... We'll get a team to put into that. Nice. Um, and then, well, so there's going to be one more. Someone wants to do an ultra. Um, yeah. I don't think uh, <laughs> it's just him. So I don't Not everybody. <laughs> no, not for everyone. Definitely not for me. I ride my bike around with him. Um, but, you know, having some other events that are going on, there's like a run out west, which we're going to do. Um, you know, all these little things that you can just go, okay, would people like to do that? You know? You just have to put it out into your Facebook group or in, in your in an email, you know, who fancies doing this? You know, we've started to do strength days. So uh, last Sunday we did a one RM strength day uh, mm -hmm. for everyone. So everyone who wanted to come came in. Uh, again, you got everyone around the gym, uh, everyone for music pumping, everyone kind of you know cheering people on. Um we did just the three main the you know, squat bench, deadlift. Yeah. Um and we just did that because people wanted to see where they're at and mm. um, got some, everyone got PBs, which was awesome. Nice. And um, a lot of people shocked themselves. Um, and then we're going to do that again in about another three months and uh, get, hopefully get more people coming in and you're doing, it's again, just more value add, more va adding more value. Mm. Um, you get some, I've got some great uh, photos of people doing one RMs. 
um, little videos. So again, that's great for your marketing because you, people can see, you know, you can tag them in it and you yeah. can see people, they can obviously they'll share it because they, who doesn't, mm. you know, he doesn't want to see that. He doesn't mm. want to see themselves lift something um, incredibly heavy and then sh share it because you know, everyone's going to be like, wow, you know, um, one of my clients, when we did the Spartan race, um, the Spartan, or it might have been when she could do four pull-ups, we did them. Um, so she should have been training for a year, um, never been to the gym. Just did, now can do like four, six pull-ups, easy. Um, and I shared the video of her doing it. And she okay. was shocked at how many people were like, oh my God, that's awesome. You know, she, and, she, you know, for her, that was because she thought people wouldn't be, would be more sort of anti, you know, oh, mm. she just live in the gym and all that sort of stuff. Mm. But everyone was like, wow, that's incredible. I wish I could do that. And again, it just boosted her up. Yeah. Um, so all these different things, you know, you can use it. You can use your events for marketing. You can use your events for um, building your tribe um, and just doing something fun. So mm, mm, mm. there's more, more to just one, more than one reason to do it. Yeah. And all of those public holidays are already on the annual planner. If you buy an annual planner, you don't even need Google. Yeah. In fact, I know, you know, I've got about four of those reps. Um, yeah. Or ex reps send out one. Uh, yep. a wall planner every year yeah yeah um, and i've got there you go my look, but i think yeah, they put the holidays on there so get it so has certainly on my one i don't know don't know about the reps well. one but yeah you're right it's um it's all there all you've got to do is sit down and give it some time and uh That's the world it. is your oyster just only your imagination that holds you back all right are we you're pretty much up now time yeah time's good yeah so happy valentine's day everybody have a lovely romantic day and a nice weekend yeah, share the and we will catch you next time cheers